guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew your maxi jumper shorts so i have a tutorial where we're able to achieve the jumpsuits form of this tutorial which happens to be the long trousers right so i'll go ahead and put down the link in the description box below if you are interested in learning how to achieve long maxi jumpsuits now one thing about this jumpsuit is that you don't have joining at your waistline this is not like your regular jumpsuit where you have joining at the waistline so in this form of jumpsuit, we basically don't have joining and we are going to have our drawstring at this part. So I'm also putting on the jumper shorts. Okay, but I hope you guys can actually see the lower part of this outfit. So the upper part is going to be like a drawstring this way and it doesn't have joining at the waist side. Don't forget to join us on Facebook to the designs, on Instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this style you need your shoulder measurements your length and your hip measurements now you will discover that we don't have our bust measurements and we don't have our waist measurements. This is because normally the hip is usually the highest part or the biggest part in a woman's body. For some people, for some few women, the bust or the waist are the biggest size or the biggest side of the body. So whichever one you go, you. So guys. Now you will discover that what we have is our shoulder measurements, length and the hip. The reason why we don't have our bust measurements and our waist measurements is because for most women, the hip is usually where we have the largest measurements. So if your measurements, if where you have the largest measurements on your body is your bust, then you make use of your bust measurements. If your waist happens to be the largest part of your body, then you make use of your waist measurements. But for most women, the hip is usually the largest part of their body. Now, another thing you should also take note of when you want to achieve this style is that this style is very free and it is not fitted, right? So this also means that you are going to be adding inches to your shoulder measurement and also you'll be adding inches to your waist measurement. Now, what we want to achieve also, this is a short. Normally, when you want to achieve your shorts, you need your round lap, you need your trouser length, like your regular jumpsuit, you will need your round lap. You will need your trouser length, you will need your, you know, you need your trouser length, your round lap, your round foot. But in this form of jumper, you don't need all of that. <laughs> so this is very, very easy to achieve. And if you're interested in learning how to achieve this without any measurements for your trousers, then keep watching. So let's go ahead now and calculate our measurement. Our total measurement is 14. We have 14 divided by 2. We have 7. Now I said that you are going to be adding inches to your shoulder measurement. And this is because this is your drawstring part. You can see that we have excess and you can basically pull it and adjust it to any way you want it to be. And this is more than our shoulder measurement so the number of inches you add to your shoulder measurement totally depends on how full you want it to be so you can go ahead and add 8 inches 10 inches 12 15 inches it just depends on how full you want it to be and also you will also consider the amount of fabric you are working with so i'll go ahead now and add about 10 inches to mine so we have 10 plus 7, I have 17 inches. Now I'm going to add my sewing allowance, which is 2 inches, plus 2 inches for my sewing allowance, I have 19 inches. So for our shoulder measurements now, we'll be having 19 inches. Our length, when I mean length, I mean from your shoulder, um, from your shoulder to your desired length, okay? Now, We'll go ahead and add 2 inches for our sewing allowance. 
2 inches we have 36 inches for our length another thing you should also take note of when you want to achieve this is that you have to deduct some measurements when you want to cut your fabric now you will discover that this started somewhere around here and not here so I went ahead and I deducted 5 inches so for my shoulder now to wear my uh, to where the dress will start from, I have 5 inches. So you are going to take off inches from it and that will determine where you want it to start. So you can go ahead and deduct 6 inches, 7 inches, it just depends on what you want to achieve. And one beautiful thing about this style is that you can pull it this way, you can see, you can adjust things, you can also take it higher. It just depends on how you want to rock this. So. Take that, bear that in mind that you are going to deduct from your length when you are cutting your fabric. And I'm going to make use of 5 to 6 inches, okay? Now, what we have now is our hip measurement. My hip measurement is 40. 40 divided by 4, I have 10. And you are also going to be adding inches to your hip measurement. You are going to be adding inches to your hip measurement because this is a very free maxi um, dress. Now, the number of inches you also add to your hip measurement totally depends on how wide you want it to be, right? How wide you want it to be, that is how free you want your outfit to be. So you can add 10 inches, you can add 5 inches, you can add 6 inches. There is no specific measurement or specific amount of inches to be added in order to achieve this style. It just depends on how free you want it to be and what you want to achieve at the end of it. So, I will go ahead now and add about 10 inches to mine. I will go ahead now and add about 9 inches to mine. Rather, I will add 9 inches, so I have 19 inches. Now you will also discover that I kind of like made sure that my shoulder measurements and my hip measurements are the same. So that I just have like a straight um, cutting, right? For me, my measurements are the same. So I have 19 inches for the shoulder, I have 19 inches for my hip, so I'm going to have like a straight line. But you, it depends on the amount of inches you are adding to yours, right? It doesn't mean that... Um, you can add five inch, you can add ten inches to your shoulder, and you can add twelve inches to your hip. It just depends on what you want to achieve. But and as we are going to be adding our elastic or smoking trail to the waistline, so you should still end up gripping your waist area. So just take note of that and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe guys i'm making this of african prints and african prints are available so the first thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and fold my fabric into four folding your fabric into four of course what you're going to achieve is off shoulder so the number of inches you take away you go ahead and place it off your tape measure this way so this is what we have i'm making it of five inches i've placed my five inches off my tape measure i will go ahead now and mark my bust measurement nine inches bust to waist eight inches waist to hip waist to hip we have nine inches so this is where you have your hip now in order for you to achieve your crush line, okay, which you are going to use for your shorts, come down from your hip line. Come down from your hip line because all you have is a free form. So go ahead and mark one to two inches from your hip line. It basically depends on what you want. So I'm going to come down with one, two inches. I'm going to come down with two inches for mine. So you can either make use of one or two inches below your hip measurement. So these are the basic lines. And of course what we have are shoulder measurement because you are going to go ahead to gather this up. So you are not making use of your exact shoulder measurements which I have explained earlier. So our sh basic shoulder measurement is seven inches but we have, we need to add so much to it so that by the time you attach your rope it's going to serve as drawstring effect, okay? Now, another thing you should also take note of is that of 20 inches, this is how much I want to add to my regular shoulder measurements. Now, we are going to use our hip measurements, and like I said earlier that 
what you have is a very free dress you're going to have like a very free dress so basically you can just extend what you have at this point for your shoulder all the way to your jump shorts okay or your jumper or your beach dress so you just go ahead and connect all you have all the way because all you have here is a straight form now you're going to be like um how will you connect your crotch now for your shorts you go ahead and take away at the lower part now you go ahead and mark three inches you go ahead and mark three inches at this part and then you connect it to your crotch line this is where we have as our crotch line you go ahead and connect it this way in a slant shape in a slant shape guys you go ahead and connect this way in a slant shape so now we we'll go ahead now and cut this out so you can see that what we have is very easy to achieve and i will basically just go ahead and cut this out if this you can see what we have so by the time you open this up this is basically what you're going to have so you can see your short area now another thing i also want to say is that if you don't want to have if you don't want yours to be bogus okay let me explain it just in case you don't want to have a bogus effect if you don't want yours to be bogus let's make use of where we have our lines to have like a bogus um shorts maybe you want yours to be a little bit fitted not too big now you have your hip measurements our hip measurement is 11 inches right you have your hip measurements which is 11 inches it measurement is 11 inches you go ahead and determine how many inches you want to add to your hip measurement that is how free do you want it to be so you can go ahead and add four inches to your hip measurements five inches to your hip measurement three inches seven eight it just depends on how big you want it to be so i'm going to go ahead now and mark five inches so if you are making use of this method let's say you want yours to be fitted not too big what you have here you go ahead now and check what you have so we have 16 inches we are going to mark this 16 inches all the way down i'm going to mark your 16 inches all the way so you discover that your hip measurements plus three inches makes it you know more slim that is makes it more fitted that is if you don't want to have a big effect it totally depends on you i'm just trying to like explain it just in case if you want yours to be fitted and if you want yours to be free but note that it shouldn't be totally fitted right so i'll go ahead now and just trim this off this off now and then you open this this is basically what you have basically what you have so i'll go ahead now and open up the upper piece so guys by the time you open this up this is what you have so let's go ahead now and extend our waistline so this is where we have our waistline now you can either make use of your half inch elastic or you make use of your smoking thread it depends and if you don't really want to have like um if you don't want to add your smoking thread or your elastic to the waist part then you can have a belt okay so what we just want to achieve is just to give this waistline a little fitting at this waist so that your shorts can really come out very nice so is it that you make use of your elastic that is half inch elastic or you make use of your smoking thread or you make use of a belt so that depends on what you want so if you are making use of your elastic place your elastic on your waistline and then you pull it while you are sewing you are basically going to pull this while you are sewing so once i go ahead now and stitch my elastic on my waistline and i pull it i'm going to show you guys how it's going to automatically gather up at this waistline so this is what it looks like by the time it's gathered up and then it gives you waist a form of fitting and this is what it looks like so here will be fitted this upper part will be wide and this trousers part will also be wild so guys another thing you are also going to cut out which you are going to be fixing on this upper side of our outfit is what we are going to call our stripe which we serve as the sleeve okay so the wideness of your stripe totally depends on how wide you want it to be so i'm going to make use of three inches 
by the time I fold it this way, I'm going to have a tiny stripe. However, you, if you want yours to be bigger, you can go ahead and do that. So for the length now of my stripe, I have... For the length now for my stripe, I have 30 inches. So by the time I place this on the front block and the other piece in the second, in the back block, we are going to have our stripe. So I'll go ahead now and fold my stripe and then I'll show you guys what. This is basically what we have. So we've gone ahead now to fix the elastic at the waist part and you can see how it just grips the waist right and for the back this is what it looks like just the elastic or your smoking tray and it basically just gives it like a form of fitting at the waist part so one head to stitch this part and this is what we have for the lower side I actually forgot to cut out our armhole okay i forgot to cut it out so i'm going to go ahead now and explain how to cut your armhole um to do that first while you are cutting right you have to do that while you are cutting and not towards um this part okay it's because i just want to like explain it to you so i've gone ahead now to lose out my stripes so that you guys can see it clearly and we left five inches this way of our fabric we left five inches this way while we we're taking our measurements earlier now our Armo is what? What you have for your armo is 9 inches. What we have for our armo is 9 inches. The number of inches you, you took off, you also place that off your dress and then you take your armo measurement. So we'll just go ahead now and slant this. You are basically just going to slant this this way to give you your armo. So by the time you slant it now, I'll go ahead and cut this out. After cutting it out, you can see what we have. You can see your arm O effect. So, by the time you aim it, this is basically what it's going to look like. You can see your arm O and your stripe. So, next thing you are going to do now is just basically go ahead and stitch this other part all the way down. Done with that. This is basically what we have. So, you can see our stripes. Now, this is what the arm O looks like. You go ahead and aim it. And on the waistline, we have our elastic. And at the lower part, we have our shorts. And this is basically what it looks like. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any question in the comment section or any video you want us to make. Put that in the comment section so you can actually rock this for different occasions such as beach wear, evening wear and all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!